Now we'll introduce you how to use the locator impulse current mode of cable fault prelocator. Insert the impulse current into the signal filter. Connect the line to test grounding. The black clip works as test grounding. There are two lines on the black clip. Find the one that lead it by the H-way operator but not protect grounding. And plug it into the groove on the impulse current coupler. Then turn on the device. Estimate the whole length of the cable. And choose a test range which is at least twice the length of the cable. Next, choose a wave speed and press the test key. Then there will be a waiting trigger sign on the screen. The voltage of H3 generator has risen to 10,000 volt. Now we can carry out a single discharge and observe its impulse current waveform. After a cable breakdown, there will be an impulse current waveform displayed in the prelocator. Impulse current indicates the process of energy being transmitted from the HV generator to the fault point. The energy is reflected back and forth from the transmit end to fault point and gradually attenuates, resulting in a periodicity and weakening waveform. There are two cursors. Move the dotted cursor by direction keys to the decreasing edge of the second period. Then press the central key. Switch into a solid cursor which can be moved by touching the screen. Put the second cursor on the increasing edge of the period, which is on the right side of the first cursor. Thus, we can select a specific period by putting two cursors on two adjacent edges. Usually, we go for the second period for accuracy needs. A period represents the relative energy reflection distance from the transmit end to the fault point which is 46.2 meters in this demo, indicating that the fault point is on the position of about 46 meters of this 50 meter cable. 